I, I think for so many Australians, 60 Minutes is just that, you know, event television. You sit down on a Sunday night and it's going to take you to places that you've never been before or never seen before. And for me, 60 Minutes is synonymous with the stories that leave you speechless, but also get everyone talking at the same time. Robert Dunn, I'm Elizabeth Hayes. You realise you're wanted in Australia? I grew up watching 60 Minutes and the likes of Liz Hayes and Charles Woolley taking you to places that just seemed like another world. And it's that kind of frontier journalism that I think still excites. I usually say to Donald Trump, come, come, come to me. I will choke you with my H-bombs. Well, going to North Korea last year, you know, somewhere that no other Australian media gets access to and being able to bring that to life for viewers here in Australia and try and break down such a complex situation. The problem is that most of the Western people have no idea what is going down here. They don't know the reality of our country. What is the reality? Our reality is that we are enjoying a normal, a comfortable, happy life here and we have our own way. So I think that we single mind, we can pave the way to our final victory under the wise leadership of our respected uh, Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. We're painting a picture of places that people don't really have a grasp on or, or, or get the access to. What do you like about this game? I'm so happy to kill Americans. So you dream this is an American that you're shooting? Yeah. Americans and Japanese and South Koreans, they are the enemy of the Korean people. It's those kind of stories that it's a real privilege to be able to do that each weekend and show Australians something new from around the world.